is it? Hi, Professor. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Vera, thank heavens you're back. Yes, I'm back. And I have a number of questions for you. Vera, there's no time for questions. All of my experimental mice have escaped. If they chew on the cables, they'll cut the power to the lab, and something horrible will happen. Worse than horrible. What will happen? The collapse of time and space. Relax, Professor. Mice are not a problem. We'll find all the mice. But then we're going to have a serious conversation. Okay, Professor. I caught all the mice. Oh, thank you, Vera. Now tell me, are you okay? Absolutely not. My wedding is in two days, my fiancé stole some dinosaur eggs from the Jurassic period, and now I've got to travel to different times in history with the use of a mobile phone to find these eggs. I'm definitely not okay. Perhaps you could explain this to me. Well, I don't understand it myself. Tom and I built a time machine. We had to test it, so Tom went to the future and disappeared. And then the phone came back here by itself. And then you showed up here looking for Tom, took the time machine, and disappeared. That's all I know. And what time did Tom go to the first time? One hundred million years into the future. Good heavens! Why did he go that far into the future? He needed to find out what the atmosphere consisted of 100 million years from now for his dissertation. You scientists are crazy. By the way, does this look familiar? Hey, the death of Socrates. It's your painting? My wife gave it to me for my 40th birthday. Oh, my Gretchen. Oh, my head is spinning. I need my pills. What pills? Where are they? They are for my condition. I'm losing consciousness. Ugh. Great. I need this like I need a hole in my head. Einbach, it looks like he passed out. Thank you, Vera. The pills helped me forget about my wife. What happened to her? She loved canoeing, 
and then one fine day she paddled off and never came back. And every time I think about her, I pass out. You know, Professor, I don't know if Tom told you, but I'm a professional psychoanalyst and I think I can help you. Really? How? It looks like you're being tormented by acute autophobia, the fear of being left alone. You need to get over this. Yes, but everyone experiences loneliness. True, but not everyone passes out as a result. Now look deeply into my eyes and relax. I will hypnotize you and make everything better. I'm not dead, dear. I'm alive and I'll return to you soon. She's alive. Now that's an interesting development. Well, while I'm here, I might as well get rid of some of the junk here. I saw my wife, and she told me that she's still alive and would be coming back to me. Okay, now how do you feel? Much better, thank you. And now I have hope. You're welcome. I'm happy to help you. Now, I'm going to go a hundred million years into the future to see if I can find out what happened to Tom. I'm going with you. It's all my fault. After all, I designed this damn machine. Can the time machine transport two people? Grab my hand and hold on tight. That way, the time machine will identify us as one object. Okay, I'm dialing. Connecting to 100 million, 2008 AD. Look, Vera, this is the Mushroom Age. 
This is magnificent, amazing. In 100 million years, the Earth will be ruled by mushrooms. That's great news and all, but I'm more interested in finding out where Tom is. Look, a path. I don't believe it. This is a great scientific discovery. We'll have to re-examine evolution. Careful, Professor. There are footprints here. I can see that. They look like our footprints. Yes, but look. These are Tom's footprints. They're everywhere, even on the mushrooms. And how do you know that they are Tom's footprints? Look at the logo on that tread. Tom always wears Nebo shoe sneakers. And I really doubt the local population here would be wearing them. Clearly, Tom walked around here a lot. It's almost as if he was looking for something. And then something strange and unexpected happened. Do you get the feeling you're breathing something odd? My head is spinning and I want to sleep. It probably has to do with the makeup of the atmosphere here. It's not what we're used to. Okay, just don't pass out. Look. Professor Einbach, do you see those symbols? What symbols? And they are even bigger in this clearing. There are letters visible on the mushrooms. Fascinating. It looks like something interesting is happening. But I'm also feeling really sleepy now. I'm relieved that it's not just me, but I'm dangerously close to falling asleep. Maybe we should pinch each other. Let's figure out what these symbols mean instead.
what can you tell me about that huge egg you discovered? I know who laid it. It's a dinosaur egg that was taken from the Jurassic period. It's imperative that we return this egg. My head is spinning even more. Now what can you tell me about all the letters? Well, there are both upper and lower case letters. I think if we write them down on a piece of paper, we might have something to work with. Perhaps it's some sort of code. Okay, let's sit down and try. It's a message from Tom. Beware of the hypnotic powers here. Hmm, what could it mean? It means you need to be very careful. Professor Einbach, are you okay? I'm not Professor Einbach. I'm just using his body. Who are you? I live here. I'm looking for Tom Scout. Do you know where he is? Stop searching for Tom. But we're getting married in two days. The wedding will take place on time. Just go home and wait. Tom will return to you in one piece. And why should I trust you? Because if you don't listen to me, not only won't there be a wedding, but I'll kill you, Tom, and this clown I'm using to talk to you. Professor Einbach's a genius, so don't be mean to him. I'll give you 30 seconds to get out of here. The clock is ticking. But who are you and what do you want? Vera, what just happened? It looks like we have to get out of here and right now. Was someone controlling me? What did I do? I will tell you later. Give me your hand. Connecting to Laboratory 2008.